Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. I'm an intuitive reader, a manifesting coach, a Reiki practitioner, and a life path guide and mentor here to help you along your awakening journey. And in this video, we are going to finally talk about how to get the body of your dreams. And it all starts in the nervous system. I get so many comments on my channel of people asking, how to lose weight, how to heal, how to feel good in their body, how to look younger. And I did notice this about myself. I'm 41 years old. And when I turned 38, I remember looking at myself in the mirror going, I look younger than I did when I was 30 or when I was 28. And I was wondering why. And I was talking to my mentor about it. And around that time, when I turned 38, I was two years into healing my nervous system. I was doing energetic work on my body. I was purging and crying a lot. I was releasing as many situations as I could from my past that had hurt me. And I was addressing it. I was going within and looking at the parts of myself and my past that were painful. And I was giving it space to be seen. And you guys can do this on your own. You don't need a mentor. You don't need a healer. You just need time and space to sit with yourself and write yourself maybe a letter or just sit with the younger version of yourself that experienced the pain and ask that child how they feel. What do they need right now? What did they need back then that they didn't get? And when you give that child space to feel what happened to them and to understand what happened to them, and essentially it's just you having a conversation with yourself this whole time, but you're going back and giving air and giving space for that child to breathe and to be seen, to be held, to be heard, to be validated. And you're now going to tell your younger self that you have them. You're never going to let them get hurt again. You can, they can tell you anything. They can trust you and you build this connection with you. And believe it or not, this is how people lose weight. Your cells in your body, your nervous system holds all of the anger, all of the frustration, all of the shame, all of the guilt. And when it's in that state of discord and not feeling good, your nervous system, I always say your nervous system is like this, it's tight fists. And the body responds to the nervous system, right? Your, your nervous system is your body. So if it feels tight, guess what it thinks? It is in stress mode. It is in fight or flight. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, what's going on? When are we going to get food next? I don't know when we're going to get food. So let's hold on to what we have. That one statement right there should be the answer to this whole video. How do you get your dream body? You have to release your body's stress. You have to release the grip it has on thinking it's not going to get food. Your body will not let go of weight in certain areas if it holds trauma that is still wound up and tight and bound and you just feel so restrictive because you're not giving that trauma air. You need to give it air to breathe. And a lot of times it's just crying it out for 10 minutes. When you cry it out and you really, really, really look in the eyes of that younger version of you and you love them and you say, I set you free. You do not have to hold on to this pain anymore. The body can relax. Your hands just start to open up. Your nervous system's like, finally, for years, we can finally breathe. And the weight falls off. You won't even have to work out. You'll catch yourself going to the cabinet because it's a habit, but you're not really going to be hungry because you're not looking to numb anymore. You finally address the issue that you've been feeling your whole life. And in my past, I was a binge eater. I would eat at 1, 2 a.m. I would self-sabotage. I would get myself to a goal weight, and then I'd put on 20 to 30 pounds, and then I would lose it again, and then I would put it on. My body was in such a stress mode. And enduring the loss of my daughter made it worse. So I was like that before my daughter was born. Then I lost my daughter. And through childhood, I had childhood abuse, uh, physical abuse. Like if I failed a test or something, I was severely hurt. Then I had sexual abuse that I was not aware of until I hit my 30s and that came out. And I, my body was holding 
on to all of that. And I was walking through life through my teenage years, my elementary years in such fear. I didn't feel safe in my body. So my body was holding on to all of that. So whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, your body has protected you this whole time. And now it's time to set it free. Now it's time to talk to it and tell it you don't have to hold on to that pain anymore. You can release it. I'm going to give you space to release it. And that space means you have to sit with your feelings. You have to feel it. When you feel it, you release it. And when it's released, your subconscious now is free from that emotion. And you're not going to be taking action from a place of discord or suffering or shame or guilt because that's no longer in the subconscious because you've released it. So now when you're releasing and you're purifying yourself, there's nothing but joy and happiness and peace and calm in the subconscious. So now there's no urge to overeat. There's no urge to over caffeinate. There's no urge to drink. And then at that point, it becomes you have to break the cycle and the habit of your mind being conditioned to go do the thing. So the habit kind of falls away eventually, like the need for it, but your body is still used to the motion of doing it. So that's what you really have to tackle is just finding a new habit, finding something else to do. Go for a drive when you want to have a drink or at nighttime when you know you normally overeat, do something with, do something different, start to meditate, take a bath, find a way to nurture yourself instead of doing the same pattern. But you can't, most people try to break the pattern. They try to stop themselves from doing the same habit, but they're not healing the nervous system. So it'll just keep repeating. But when you get to the root and you get to the nervous system and you sit with the younger version of you that holds the pain and you release it, your body's now free and it's not tense and it's not tight. And when I say it's tight, it's because back in the old days, if our body was in stress mode, if it was being chased by a tiger or we were worried that we weren't going to be able to have food, it would preserve. It would hold on to our fat cells to keep us safe. So your body, if you're not losing weight, your body is trying to keep you safe. And that means you're in some sort of state where you're not safe. So that's a huge indicator that your body is communicating to you saying, hey, we're not safe. Your body will eventually find a homeostasis when it's safe, when it's free, when the nervous system is relaxed and you're waking up and you're trusting the universe and you're not stressed about your finances. They might be, there might not be a lot in your bank account, but you trust, you know that you're okay. All of that affects the weight that your body holds because your body is your survival. It's protecting you. It's going to keep you from harm. It's meant to do that, your ego too. But once you heal the nervous system and we're never really fully healed, there's always going to be more things that happen. And then we give it space and we allow it to come through us. Once we continually do this, we get to a very calm state in our body and we have faith and we have trust and we're not gonna quickly go to habits that are unhealthy because there's nothing, that, I always say the energy is like, a, uh, like, a, uh, I, I need to stop this feeling. I don't like how I feel right now. I need to reach for candy. I need to reach for sugar, all these different things to soothe me. When you give your trauma space and you trust the universe, that uh, feeling goes away. Now you're just like, it's quiet. This feels weird. I don't wanna do anything right now. I don't feel a need to numb. You made it. And now, once you get to that point, now it's just a matter of time before your body aligns to that. And that's when you can start going to the gym and start shaping your body whatever way you want. Because you know now when you work out, it's benefiting you. You're not trying to battle your body. Now you're working with your body because it's no longer stressed and tight and trying to hold on to the fat cells and to the nutrients. It's saying, oh, we're relaxed. Now we're training for strength. Now we're training to shape the body, to feel good, to be resilient. And we can eat food and it's going to process it really well. And everything starts to come into harmony. And then you start to look younger. Your hair starts to get better. Your skin gets better because you're no longer in the state of, uh, okay. I don't know the best way to do that. Sorry if that's annoying, <laughs> but that feeling of just, you're not settled. That's why people struggle and the body is always communicating to us. So if you hold weight in your belly area, that's your solar plexus, that's your power center. If you're not speaking your truth in your life, if you're not being creative, your sacral energy, which is below the belly button, the womb space, 
that's your ability to give birth to things to people too, <laughs> but your creativity, if you are not being creative in your life, you might be holding on to weight in your belly area. You know, the back and the shoulders is all about your ability to, to walk through life, being proud of yourself, not holding any shame or guilt, or there's no betrayal. If there's any kind of lying or secrets that gets held in the back. So your body is also this communication system. And the way to learn more about this, there's a book called Heal Your Body. I highly recommend it. Go out and buy it. It's by Louise Hay. And she connects all of the ailments to an emotional trauma or an emotional stress or something that you're going through. And every part of your body means something. So if you're holding weight or having injuries in certain parts of your body that are preventing you from having your dream body, get the book, identify what's holding you back, and then go to the root. The nervous system is the reason for any ailment, any pain, any suffering, any extra weight. Once you get to the root, of the trauma that happened in that area of the body and you can release it. You can also look up the human garage where this wonderful man named Gary, he does fascia maneuvers. Um, I actually tried it the other day. I've been doing a lot in my life. He has these different movements that you do. I have a C-section scar where I had my daughter. I was in labor for like 12 to 15 hours and she wasn't dropping. So we had to do a C-section the next day. It was super traumatic. But he said to where my scar is to pull the skin apart and do some deep breaths and allow the pain and the trauma from that experience to be released. Your fascia holds emotions. So when you give space and you move the skin, you're allowing those cells to open up and the trauma can release. When I did this, I literally cried within 30 seconds. I just started bawling my eyes out as if my daughter had just died all over again. It was wild. I was like, oh my God, my C-section scar holds the cells in there were still holding some of my pain. And I've done a lot of work. So I was shocked to see that emotion was still down there. And that could be where some of you hold extra body weight. So tune into your body, get the book, Heal Your Body, go to the Human Garage social media account. He's on YouTube, he's on Instagram, TikTok. He does all these different fascia maneuvers to help you release the trauma where you don't need a healer. You don't have to pay any money to do it. And once you release, now your body can realign, the nervous system is open. Now you can shape the body and have fun with it and you start to look younger. All right, lovies, this was long-winded. I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I'm sending you so much love and go get that dream body. You deserve to feel good in your skin and it starts within. Give yourself time and space to feel what you've been through and tell your body, body, it is time to release this. We are no longer holding the shame, guilt, anger, frustration. I release you, I release you, I release you. And watch the magic happen. All right, lovies, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.